I was called up to my parents' room and initially I thought I'd done something wrong. And I was told, you know, Michael's been lost on the mountain. And in my mind, I can remember just kind of the, the wheel spinning going, well, you know, let me know when you find him type of thing. What was the point in calling me up to, well, why so serious? He was just quite a kind of aspirational figure to me. I, I loved him very much. I didn't process it as, as a kid. Uh, and I didn't really grieve either as a kid. You know, it was kind of brushed under the rug. My um, abusing alcohol throughout my, you know, teens and, and 20s was almost certainly related to not processing the grief, which is something that's always made me quite uncomfortable. Um, I've never wanted to associate Mike's death with my alcoholism. I think the difficult thing for me when, when embarking on this particular journey was that I might have to come face to face with, with Mike's frozen body. I would see him potentially as he was the day that he died. And he was 12 years older than me. And at the time of filming, I was 12 years older than him. So it's kind of like, I'm his big brother now. You know, I'm coming to find you. 